My name is Chris Voigt and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Bioengineering at MIT. I'm the editor-in-chief of the new ACS Synthetic Biology Journal. Synthetic biology refers to a process by which you go about designing a genetic system. It is a uh, method where we can define individual functions in DNA as genetic parts and a process by which we understand how to combine those parts in a predictable way to build up a genetic system. So my lab is trying to build a programming language for cells where just as though you might program a computer or program a robot, you'd be able to define an instruction set in the same way that you would write computer code, only it would be compiled into a DNA sequence in order to control those cells. We often make analogies to systems that would be present in electrical engineering, like circuits, or chemical engineering, like flow through a reactor. But in reality, those circuits and those flow of reactions are, are chemistry and really best understood as chemical systems. And so I think ACS is the perfect home for the synthetic biology that really has to happen and really thinking about these systems as from their chemical and their biochemical roots. Right now, the time is right for creating a journal in synthetic biology. It is a point where there are a number of labs that are trying to do the basic um, research in the field. And we need a place to be able to publish those projects that really have an engineering focus, where it's really about trying to enable what we're able to do. ACS Synthetic Biology is envisioned as being a highly interdisciplinary journal. There are a broad range of researchers that uh, would be appropriate to submit to the journal. So we expect to be looking at papers from biology, from biological engineering, chemistry and chemical engineering, material science, any of the fields that are uh, being impacted or are generating work in the area. One of the features that makes ACS Synthetic Biology unique is our willingness to publish papers whose application is in engineering and whose lengths may be longer than what a traditional journal would allow you to publish. And then also finally a focus on uh, publishing papers that are not just novel but also useful and really demonstrate a utility in the field. The editorial board consists of uh, those researchers that are uh, extremely active in the field and they have a role both in defining those types of projects that are the most important and the most impactful that are coming out. And also they represent a range of backgrounds where they are sufficiently diverse so that they can look as to whether a project is going to be able to impact a number of different areas rather than being specific to any particular application.